Welcome, Welcome to, to In Retrospect, Retrospect, where we talk about this past week's entertainment news and upcoming events. For our first episode, we'd like to invite all of you to keep updated on what's going on in Hollywood, as we all do live here in the great city of LA. But first, before we jump into things, we'd like to introduce ourselves. My name is Scarlett Sanchez. I am a senior communications major and business administration minor. Hello everyone, my name is Maddie Arnold. I'm a senior communication studies major and theater arts minor with a huge passion for the entertainment industry. I've been reporting on Hollywood news for five years now and I'm so excited to start this show with Scarlett at Roar Studios. First, let's talk movies and film. As we know, the Oscars are approaching on March 4th and I'm thrilled to see the actors, fashion, and maybe even the fashion statements. I believe there will be a strong message this year. We'll have to wait and see. The 90th Annual Academy Awards will be hosted again by Jimmy Kimmel. His dry wit makes viewers laugh and I can't wait to read all of the tweets. This year's award season has been a political statement, with guests discussing sexual harassment and abuse in the workplace, the Me Too campaign, Black Lives Matter, immigration, and natural disasters. I wonder what statements will be made at the Oscars. Hopefully they won't announce the wrong winner for Best Picture. As we like to keep up to date with some of the best of the best movies, this year had an amazing year of film. With Shape of Water, Dunkirk, Get Out, Lady Bird, and so many more. However, sometimes Hollywood studios don't always release some of our favorites. Even this year, a few didn't do as well as others in the box office. So today we are going to be discussing the Razzies. For those of you that don't know, the Razzies, also known as the Golden Raspberry Awards, are known as Mock Recognition Awards, such as Worst Picture, Worst Actor, and so forth. The 38th Annual Razzie Awards should be a lot of fun. This show will take place on March 3rd, the day before the Oscars. Sorry if some of your favorite movies were on the list, but some of the worst films of this year include Baywatch, Pirates of the Caribbean, Transformers, Mother, Daddy's Home 2, and the Emoji Movie. Personally, I was quite surprised to see Mother on the worst nominee list, starring Jennifer Lawrence. I'm a huge fan of her, and was kind of sad to see her on the list. I did think that Darren did an amazing job with his artistic vision for the film. There was a lot of inclusions of symbolic meaning and biblical allegories. By the end of the film, it seemed a little disturbing, and I think that might have put it as a contender for this year's Razzies. I'm from Massachusetts and my fellow Bostonian and favorite actor Mark Wahlberg starred in Transformers and Taddy's Home 2. He could potentially win Worst Actor for both films. His competition is Zac Efron, Jamie Dornan, Johnny Depp, and Tom Cruise. I am biased and love Marky Mark's acting, personality, and heart, but he could go home with a few Razzie Awards this year. Scarlett, are you a fan of Mark Wahlberg? I'm very sad to hear that he could be going home with a few Razzies. Also a huge fan of Entourage, the show that he produced. I love the show Entourage, and I'm psyched about this year's Oscars. Tell us your thoughts about the Razzies and Oscars in the comment section below. Yes, because we want to know what you think too. Do you really think Mark Wahlberg deserves Worst Actor or Jennifer Lawrence Worst Actress of the Year? Plus, what was your favorite film, your least favorite film? We want to know. You can keep updated with us as well on Instagram. Uh, my handle is at Scar Sanchez. I'm at Maddie's Moments One, and you can find all the Roar Studio shows and keep up with In Retrospect at Roar Studios LA. Thank you so much for watching our first episode. We had so much fun. We did. Thanks, Maddie. Thank you. You're watching In Retrospect, where we keep your entertainment news in check. See you next, See you next time. time.